In this module, we will continue our discussion on sterilization kinetics. As we have seen that in our previous module, that uh, the value of uh, nt, the survivors, is less than 1. If we draw the kinetics, then there is the possibility, then we can achieve that there will be the value of the nt is uh, 0.1. So, point 1 is the either the survivors, either the viable organism. So, this implies the probability of one organism surviving the treatment is 1 in 10. So, 1 tenth is the probability. So, this may be better expressed in practical terms as a risk of one batch in 10 becoming contaminated. So, we, if we run 10 different batch, then we can say that one time of contamination possibility. So, that how many number of the batches that what will be the possibility of the contamination to be carried out. So, in this case the value of the k is not the species dependent, but it depend upon the physiological form of the cells, because there are two different forms of the cells. Number one is the vegetative form and other form is the spore or resting or a resistant form. For example, the endospores of uh, the genus Bacillus are more heat resistant than the vegetative cells. So, if there is a presence of the vegetative cells in the fermentation medium, then there will be an other kind of uh, sterilization kinetics, but in case of the endosperm forming cells, then the nature of the sterilization kinetics is different. So, in next slides, you can see the figure in which that uh, show that how the heat treatment on the survival of the population in a bacterial endospores population. So, in this slide, you can see that draw the plot between the log of nature of uh, n t over n naught against the time. You can see here the trend, then there is the upper side and then the graph go down. What happened by this? So, initial population increase resulting from the heat activation of the spores in early stage of the sterilization, because when there is a more heat endosperm burst and that start germinating. So, that is why there is an increase of the survivors, because they are very heat resistant. And then that heat required to just give the activation of the spores. So, that is why this kind of uh, the graph we achieved. So, in other case, the activation of the spore is balanced by the spore's death. So, you can see the difference between the previous previous graph to this graph is here is the straight line because there is no more uprise because the sterilization treatment is uh, carried out and in process then if there is an increase and then there will be a death so that makes the balanced equation so, in this case, we can say that an initial stationary period is observed during the sterilization treatment due to the death of the spores that is being completely compensated by the heat activation of the spores. So, in this case, the activation of spore is less than the spore death. In first case, the activation of the spores is more than the death rate. But in second, the death rate and the activation are equal, then we can say the balance stage. But in this case, when we say that the activation of the spore is less than the spore death, then we can see such kind of the graph. So, there is a slight. So, this can happen when we are dealing with the, the cultures having contamination with adenospore forming bacteria or any organism. So, the deviation from an immediate exponential decline 
inviable spore number is only due to the heat activation of the spores. That is in the induction of the spore, germination by the heat and the moisture of the initial period of the sterilization process. Because when there is a heat and then there is a wet condition, then immediately the spore starts germination. So, as we have discussed the three different possibilities in case of uh, the sterilization kinetics dealing with the, the second form of the cell which we called as endosporming cells. But in case of only the vegetative cells, we have only a straight line as we have seen our in our previous module.